YouTube. Ah, you be figs here. This is the first episode of Figgy News on this channel for quite a while, but I couldn't not show you guys what was revealed today at New York Toy Con, I think it's called. Um, Mattel had some new reveals there, and Ringside Collectibles have released pictures of all of them, so that's what we'll be showing you in this video. Let's get right into it. So right out of the gate, Elite Series 68, the full set was revealed and there are mixed reactions on social media for the set, but I certainly think this is a very strong looking set. So first up, straight out of the gate, Undertaker from SummerSlam 2000. I know and I agree with some of the um, other collectors that there are better attires for this era of Undertaker that they could have made. Um, but I suppose with the budget and all that, that's probably the best they could have given us. And for loose collectors, you can always put your own trench coat on there. So it's not the worst thing in the world. At least we're getting um, a 2000s version of Undertaker. Um, I think for the actual attire, they've done a very good job at um, capturing it. And it's cool that it has even come with the cane mask that he ripped off in the middle of that match. So next we have Brie Bella, her first ever Elite figure. Um, it's a little bit of an old attire by the looks of it, um, but there's no doubt that that one will sell really well. Um, it's got the Brie Mode shirt and the flannel. Um, that's really all you can see at this point, so I can't really make any comments on it. Um, next we have Braun Strowman. Um, I believe this is also supposed to come with a Money in the Bank briefcase. Um, it's yet to be confirmed, but I th I'm pretty sure that that's what it's supposed to be. But yeah, you um, doesn't look like there's much of a difference for the actual figure, but it's cool that um, they're kind of replicating that uh, segment with Elias that happened maybe a year ago, which led into that um, match with all the music instruments, um, the Symphony of Destruction, whatever that one was. So yeah, um, still a pretty cool figure. Uh, next we have Roman Reigns with the Universal Championship. Um, I think that face for Roman, they've used it a few times now, but I still think that is the most accurate looking Roman Reigns face out there. Um, that, I think they've done a very good job with it. Um, it's cool that he comes with the Universal title. Um, next we have Daniel Bryan from SummerSlam 2018, I believe, um, with a new head sculpt. I think that looks really good for Daniel Bryan, one of his better ones for sure, because they weren't ever able to fully capture his likeness in the past. Um, and he comes with the yes fingers as well. That's pretty cool looking. And a pretty quick turnaround for that SummerSlam attire. Um, next, we have King Mabel. I think this is the best figure in that set. Man, look at all that. That's I'm pretty sure all of it is a unique mold for him. Um, I think they've done a very good job at that King Mabel figure that just looks so much like him. The attire, the colours, the detail, and I, I believe he's the chase as well. There's another picture here. The design is slightly different and it has an M at, at the front of the shirt. So that's pretty cool that there's two different versions. I probably prefer the normal one, but I think they're both just still really strong looking figures. And the Chase, not not the Chase, the, um, the Walmart exclusive for this set is Pat Patterson. Now, they haven't shown any pictures of him without the accessories on, so it's too hard to judge um, like what it will look like. But it looks pretty good with what they have there so far. Um, and depending on the ring attire underneath, I, m I may even pick that one up myself if I find it at retail. Next up, Retro Series 9, we have Randy Orton. Um, now, I'm really impressed with this one. I'm not a, really a collector of the retros, but look at the detail in the tattoos. Uh, Hasbro back in the day would definitely not have been able to put that level of detail into it, so um, Mattel's done really well with this Randy Orton figure to have all that. Uh, we have Samoa Joe. Um, I believe this is a reuse of the Kevin Owens mold, just with a new head, from what Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins have said in their podcast. We have gold dust the old school gold dust with the removable wig that looks pretty damn cool and macho man randy savage pretty cool to still get some of those older characters that were in the original hasbro line and you can i guess compare the the two different ones um so next up we have basic series 96 we have Sami Zayn, um and it looks like there's a chase version of the Sami Zayn. i don't actually know which 
one is which. Um, we also have Kevin Owens in the same attire that was in his Elite Series 66 figure. We have Sasha Banks, um, was that figure already made, or am I just, I don't know. Um, it looks like it's a, an attire that they've already made, but I could be very well wrong. Maybe it's just slight differences, I don't really know. Uh, we have Bobby Roode, um, looks pretty solid for a basic Bobby Roode. Uh, Daniel Bryan from his WrestleMania 34 attire. I'm a little bit gutted that they didn't go with this attire on the Elite because that was a very memorable moment. Um, but nevertheless, it still looks quite nice on the basic. Um, moving on to some battle packs now. We have The Shield, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose. We have AJ Styles and Jinder Mahal, which for some reason the second time in a row Jinder Mahal has come with elbow pads whereas he doesn't wear elbow pads as part of his ring attire so I don't really understand why they give him elbow pads but they don't give like Undertaker elbow pads in that elite figure for example um, and we also have the Hardy Boys Matt and Jeff Hardy I'm pretty sure that's based on the segment they had backstage the day after Wrestlemania 34 very memorable segment um, yeah, with those colorful sleeves on Jeff and the white pants for Matt. Um, the next GameStop exclusive figure, after the Hacksaw and Ric Flair, will be Iron Sheik. This one looks very nice as well. They've done something like this similar um, in the Legends line, but this one also looks really nice. Uh, they haven't made an Iron Sheik figure for quite some time. They've also shown us better pictures of the Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior and Ronda Rousey. So here's Ultimate Warrior right now. You just get to see a lot more detail in these studio shots. Look at that jacket and the skulls on the attire. Um, man, I'm just so impressed with the detail they're able to achieve with these Ultimate Edition. It also comes with the alternate head with the face paint half rubbed off. And in this picture, you can really see the... Um, added articulation, they've got the double jointed elbows for the first time in WWE uh, Mattel figures and also if you look closely at the feet the toes are articulated as well so very nice and looking at Ronda Rousey now um, that, that, I think that's a new face for Ronda that one looks really good and it's the first woman figures apart from Miss Elizabeth to have the double jointed knees um, and of course the double jointed elbows and the interchangeable arms and removable jacket so you get more articulation with that and also the removable kilt that looks really nice um, and when you take all that off and swap the arms over there's a Wrestlemania 34 attire Ronda Rousey with the serious um, expression on the face I think I've just captured that really well and I'm hoping to pick both of those up they just look really really nice and the big reveal for today is the Ringside Collectibles exclusive. They're doing an elite two-pack of the Hardy Boys from the late 90s with the tag team titles. Um, the, the Brood Hardys, I'm pretty sure. Man, these just look incredible. Wow, and I, I did not see this release coming um, in the removable shirts um new head sculpts uh they just look incredible definitely picking that one up that's my favorite reveal for today what was your favorite reveal man what a reveal day for wwe figures hope you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed bringing it to you thank you for watching and we'll see you next time